Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.4 on Alma Linux 9. The installation process is same on all Alma Linux versions. Okay, first open Firefox or any web browser. Go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Click on downloads. Then click on MySQL community downloads. Now click on MySQL M repository. See, if you are on Alma Linux OS 9, you have to download this one. If you are on Alma Linux 8, you have to download this one. I am on Alma Linux 9. Let us verify. More slash etc OS hyphen release. See, I am on Alma Linux and its version is 9. Okay. Control it to clear screen. Now click on download. Don't click on any one of them or don't click on this one also. Just right click on this no thanks. Just start my download then select the copy link. Now go to terminal wget then give, paste that link. Hit enter. See it has downloaded the RPM for MySQL 8.4 ls. See we have the MySQL 8.4 RPM. Control L to clear screen. Then give the sudo RPM hyphen i then give the mysql give the tap to autofill and hit enter then provide the password of sudo user it is done control l to clear screen now install now install mysql server sudo dnf install mysql hyphen community hyphen server hit enter It is installing MySQL community server LTS version. Okay. So type Y for confirmation. Also, it is installing these dependencies. Okay, type Y and hit enter. It is done. We have successfully installed MySQL 8.4. First step after installing is verify the status of MySQL service. sudo systemctl status MySQL D. MySQL D is the service name for MySQL. Hit enter. See MySQL service is enabled but it is not started. So let us start it by running the command sudo systemctl start MySQL D. Let us verify. See, MySQL service is running. Okay. Now let us connect to MySQL server. Now we will see how to connect to MySQL server. So to connect to MySQL server, we have to get the MySQL user that is root password. You can get it from grep. Then give the password. MySQL, give the tab. We have to run this with sudo privileges. See, this is the password from here to here. Okay. So, MySQL hyphen u root then hyphen p. Then we have to copy password from here. Copy it, paste it, hit enter. See, we have successfully connected to MySQL server. See, this is the MySQL server version. We even we can verify. Select version. It will throw error. See, you must set your password using alter user statement before executing this statement. Okay. So the first step after connecting to MySQL server is we have to set the password for root user. That is the super user. Alter user root at the rate localhost identified by Provide the new password. See, it is typo. So, 
it is spelling give alter the user root localhost identified by then provide the password hit enter see we have successfully set the password control l to clear screen now run the select version now we will get the version number see we have installed mysql 8.4 now verify the list of the databases show databases see we have this default databases comes with installation of mysql 8.4 on alma linux os let us create a database create database verify show databases now if you want switch to this new database and create table in that use then provide the database name. now database has been changed now let us create a table create table student Now verify tables, show tables. See, we have created one table. Let us insert some data into this table. Try to insert with same number. This will throw error. See, duplicate entry because we have given the primary key. So, it won't allow the duplicate values. So, give the unique value. Okay, let us verify data in this table. Select star from student. See, we have these three rows in this table. Okay, now let us verify the list of the users in this mysql server show users this will throw error because we don't have the command like show users okay so we can get the user list select user from mysql dot user see we have these users comes with mysql installation so to create new user use the command create user then provide the username identified by Provide the password. Now verify again. See, new user James is added. If you want to exit from this MySQL, use the exit. Now let us try to connect to connect to MySQL server with this new user. Okay, MySQL hyphen u James hyphen p. Then provide the password. But if you try to switch to R2 schools database, it will throw error because we don't have the permission to this database for this user. Okay, that I will create another video how to grant privileges to database and its objects. Exit. Now we will see how to stop, start and restart MySQL service on Alma Linux. Control L to clear screen, sudo systemctl stop MySQL D. Hit enter. Now we have successfully stopped. Let us verify. See, we have stopped it six seconds ago. All we can also verify by running the command by trying to connect to MySQL server. Hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the password. See, we cannot connect. Okay, socket means it is service down. Let us start it again sudo system CTL start mysql d let us verify see mysql services started two seconds ago let us connect to it see we have successfully connected exit now we will see the last step that is sudo system CTL restart mysql d Okay, so in this video we have seen how to install and configure 
mysql 8.4 on alma linux os 9 then we have seen how to create how to set the password for root user then created a database in the database we have created table and inserted some some rows in the in that table then we have seen how to stop start and restart mysql 8.4 on alma linux os 9 for more mysql and linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you